Hello everyone and welcome back to Introduction to Number Theory. This time we will discuss a method of solving the offending equation called uh, the infinite descent method. Let's consider an equation over here. Uh, we see that it is a cubic equation and it is homogeneous, which is important to us, uh, which means that all summons are of equal degree. And uh, where do we start if we want to solve this equation? I believe that uh, the first thing we need to notice is that uh, both uh, 5y cube and 25z cube are divisible by 5. Uh, therefore, x cube must also be divisible by 5. So we can put uh, well, since x cube is divisible by 5, and 5 is a prime number, then x must also be divisible by 5. So we can say that x is equal to 5 times x1, where x1 is also an integer. So now we can substitute x with 5x1 in the initial equation and this will brings uh, this will bring us to the following equation well 5x1 to the power 3 is equal to 125x1 cube plus 5y cube plus 25z cube and this should be equal to 0 and now we see that uh, all summons are divisible by 5. So we can divide this equation by 5 and obtain the following 25x1 cube plus y cube plus 5z cube equal to 0. Well, this equation looks very much like the initial one. We have a cube, we have a cube multiplied by 5, and we have a cube multiplied by 25. This means that we can do the same thing with this equation here. Well, does this mean that uh, all this for nothing and we're still dealing with the same equation as in the beginning? Uh, it may seem so, but the truth is that uh, this is a really important step in solving this equation. Because, well, x1, the new x, is less than the old one. So, if we repeat the same procedure with this equation here, uh, we will notice that y cube must be divisible by 5. So y must be divisible by 5. So y is equal to 5 times y1. And when we substitute and uh, divide the equation by 5, we will obtain uh, Th such equation. Well, first substitute, then divide. Substituting 25x1 cube plus 125y1 cube plus uh, 5z cube, and though all this should be equal to zero. And now, indeed, divide equation by 5. We see that it's a uh, the same. The, the part of the solution here and this part of the solution are almost the same. So the new equation is uh, 5x1 cube plus 25y1 cube plus z cube. And this should be equal to 0 because uh, 0 divided by 5 is 0. And now, this time, we see that uh, z cube should be divisible by 5, so z should be divisible by 5, so z is equal to 
z1. And now we substitute this into the equation and we obtain the new equation 5x1 cubed plus 25y1 cubed plus 125, which is 5 cubed, uh, z1 cube, and of course we understand that uh, uh, z1 is an integer as well as y1 was an integer and still is. So this should be equal to zero. Mm -hmm. And all coefficients are divisible by five, so we can divide once again this equation by five. The new equation, fourth in a row, first, one, second, one, third. Now, fourth, our fourth equation is uh, x1 cube plus 5y1 cube plus 25z1 cube equal to 0. Well, uh, x1 cube here and there y cube, 5y cube here and there, 25z cube here and there. This equation is the same as the initial one. The only difference is that unknowns, variables in this equation, each of them is five times less uh, than the values of variables in the initial equation. Um, so we, we divided all the variables by five and they are still integers. And this is the same equation. So we divide them by five. They remain integer, and then they satisfy the same equation. So we can divide them by five once again, and we will obtain new integers that satisfy the same equation. And again, and again, and this will never end on one hand, but on the other hand, uh, we understand that the numbers are getting smaller and smaller. Because when we divide an integer by five, it's, it gets closer to zero. And we still obtain an integer. And this infinite procedure, which gives integers on every step, can uh, be implemented only if all these integers were equal to zero. So the only solution of our equation is zero, zero, zero. Because if we had a non-zero solution of our equation, then we will divide it by five and again and again and eventually we will come up with a non-integer number which contradicts our uh, conclusions on each of these steps so the only solution of this equation is zero zero zero